I'll now show you how to create some basic artifacts in CIJL Central. So first of all, let's start with an epic. So basically epics are the top level uh, requirement type. Epics and features are actually known as portfolio items. So if you go to portfolio menu and portfolio items, you can actually see the features. So basically this drop down will show you whether it's an epic or a feature. So I'll select epic so that you can actually see there are two epics under this project, uh, project or team. So let's create an epic. So you can actually create from here. Uh, you just give the name here. And if you know the details, you can just add with details. If you don't know all the details or only the name, then you can just add and later uh, give the details by going in there. So I'm just adding the name so that will create an epic and the project will be the project which you are already on and so no other details will be added so actually you can click there go into the epic and select all the details so basically you have you can see these tabs so mo most of the artifacts like epics features user stories will follow the similar look and feel so you'll get the details tab here the children so these will be different for different artifacts so you will give the basic description about the epic so epic is usually your project high level project uh, details if you want to find uh, how to write an epic and the standard template for an epic you can actually find in the agile website okay and the owner will be the person who creates it but you can select a different owner from here and the project will be by default to this one but still you can actually select a different project from here as well and so you select all the details uh, plan start date if you know about it plan end date then then just press done now let's see how to create a feature so feature is the next level down the epic so you can create feature from many places for example you can actually go to portfolio items and go to the fil feature filter and similar way you created epic you can create the feature from here also you can go to your epic you can go to your epic and then go to children and there you can create the feature so test Feature. so that feature will be the child of that epic so add so similar way you can add either with details or without details or just giving a name um, so let me go into a feature so similar details instead of children it's user stories here because uh, ch children of a feature is user stories and there is discussion revision and dependencies also the state and preliminary estimate similar to uh, epic uh, it, it is again feature um, t-shirt sizing so this is a relative sizing of your features also sub owner the project so this is the parent epic so it will be shown as epic and you can give the description uh, other details schedule so you can actually schedule this into a release uh, start date planned end date such and so you're done so that means your feature is now created okay now let's look at how to create a user story similarly you can go into a feature and create a user story from here or usually you can go into your plan backlog and just create a use story from here story so add with details if you if you have details with you add with details or just add so that will add a use story here so if you can see there is no feature linked to it so choose one so you can find that test feature test So 
better to filter by that pro our project so it's our project is QA test project so if I filter it easily test project 2 if I so it will show you what okay, so just select so that is selected so but if you were have created that uh, story from the feature this will be automatically linked so this is a scheduled state for a user story so basically it starts from backlog defined uh, in progress completed and accepted so these are the standard states um, so this is the plan estimate the estimated number of um, so this is usually in points history points so so you'll say the one three five etc and so this is a inbuilt field so you give your details you can select all the details or some of the details which are relevant to you and done so the story is created now this one okay so now let's look at how to create some tasks so that's done usually by going into the tasks under the story and it's also the similar way test task so just give add so task is created by default it will be in the defined state and you might do an estimate in terms in an hour so it's a five hour task so automatically the to do will be populated by five so and you can create multiple tasks task two so the other way also you can do add with details you give your description it's a testing task testing task so you just add give it hours five hours create so done so you can see two tasks here now so in in the details now you can see the task estimate is showing us 10 that's the the sum of hours under that user story so it's 10 10 hours so that's what it is probably automatically calculated here okay. so that's how we create a task now uh, let's see how to create a test case for this particular user story there is a test case tab here so if you are creating use test cases for this particular use story it's better to come in into the use story and then create the test cases so go to the actions create test or new test case here so you give the name test case for US. so just you give your test case name and description of the test case and the other details are uh, you can select from here and save so you can give the steps as well here now let's look at how to create defects so you go to defects tab and create defect issue issue found so add with the details or just so usually you add with details so uh, there is a scheduled state for defect but usually you follow a defect state and uh, you properly give the details any screenshots will be attached and you select any any fields which you want like the environment or priority and that's it you create it so that defect is created so that state is submitted so you can create next defect issue 2 just like that so that's how you create defects oh, you can actually see all these defects or tasks in different views for example i have created these two defects even though you can see it under this user story but you can see this under quality defects as well so if you filter on your particular user story here i think 
uh, issue found yeah this is the one which i created so all these ones issue two so you can actually see from here and you can use proper filters in the total so this is what you see here under the quality defects is all the defects under test project 2 